Hello pupils, we have social studies lesson. The teacher who is going to take you through is teacher Grace. The topic today is resources and economic activities. And then we have the subtopic, which is hot cattle farming. We are going first of all to start by defining the word hot cattle farming. So we ask ourselves, what is hot culture? Hot culture is the growing of vegetables, fruits, and also flowers for sale. So hot culture is growing of flowers, fruits, and also vegetable for sale. So we have said hot culture is growing of fruits, flowers, and vegetables for sale. So the growing of fruits, we refer to it as feet culture. So when we talk of the word fit culture, we talk of growing of fruits. Then we continue on, we have the flowers, the growing of flowers, we refer to it as floriculture. So we started by defining the word hot culture and we have said hot culture is growing of fr fruits, flowers and vegetables for sale. Then we have also talked of fruits. The fruits we refer to it as fit culture. So this one is the growing of only fruits. Then we have floriculture, the growing of flowers. Most of the hot culture for me is mainly done near urban centers as they offer a ready market for the produce. So we have talked about the hot culture. Where is, it, where is mostly grown? It is mostly grown in urban centers. Why is it grown in urban center? Because we have the market there. And then we have the word market garden. What is market garden? When you talk of the word market garden, this one is given type of farming where crops are grown mainly to meet the demand of food crops. So when you talk of the word market garden, this one is the crops which is only grown just to meet the demand of the food crops. And then now we continue on, we have the hot culture farming in Kenya. We have hot culture farming in Kenya. How is it done in Kenya? Kenya has a long history of growing hot culture crop for domestic and also export market. We have the type of the climate that is needed, which is good in Kenya. We have the tropical and also temperate climate. So we have the favorable climate that is needed for the growing of the hot cutter and this one we have the, the tropical and also the temperate climate which make it favorable for the growing of hot cutter production. 
Horticulture farming has expanded in the last decade to become a major foreign exchange, which earns our country foreign exchange. Flour account for 52 of horticulture export. So we have in Kenya, we export 52% of the hot cutter. So whatever we grow in Kenya, we export 42%. And then we have vegetables and also the fruits account for 48%. So we have this one is just for the flowers. So we have the percent of the flowers, so we have the 52% which we export and then we have 48% export of fruits and also vegetables. The government is putting a lot of emphasis on the farming leading to the establishment of the Hot Culture Crop Development Authority. So the government are doing a lot of work so that they can develop the company. And this one we are calling it HCDA. So they have already set up this company for the growing of hot culture. The hot culture company development authority. Then now we go to the hot culture farming in Kenya, which are these things we said. Hot culture farming in Kenya. Now to discuss about the vegetables, we are going first of all to start with the vegetables. We have the sukuma wiki, we export sukuma wiki. We also export cabbage. We also export broccoli, we have the broccoli. We also export ranches. We also have others like chilies. We have the carrots. We also have the cucumber. We have lettuce. We have the spinach. We also have the peas, French beans, and also tomatoes, onions, pepper and also mushrooms. So there are very many vegetables that we export. So I repeat once again, we have the sukumawiki, cabbage, then we have broccoli, lentils, mushroom, I'm going to add the mushrooms. Then we have the spinach, we have tomatoes, we have the carrots, cucumber, lettuce, peas, okra, onions. So those ones are type of vegetables. So most of the fruits are sold fresh in the market, while some are canned. So we go now to the fruits, the type of fruits. We have the fruits and we have said most of the fruits are sold when they are fresh and also they are canned. So they are put in cans for them to be transported. So the, the main fruits that we have, examples of them, we have grapes. Uh -huh, we have grapes and also we have prams oranges
we have oranges, apple, peas, watermelons, banana, purples, pineapple, and also avocado. So I'm going to write few. So we have grapes, plums, oranges, and then we have banana. Watermelon. So we have grapes, plums, oranges, bananas, pears, watermelons, and then we have talked of apple, banana, mm -hmm, avocados, pears, and then also lemons. We have the main flowers that are grown in Kenya. So we have the word main flowers that are grown. So examples of the main flowers that are grown, we have the roses. We have the roses and then we have the carnation. And lastly, we have orchids. So these ones are the main flowers that are grown here in Kenya. We have the roses, carnation, and also orchids. I repeat once again what we have learned. We have talked of horticulture farming, and we have started by defining the word horticulture. And we have said horticulture is growing of fruits, vegetables, and also flowers, vegetables for sale. Then we have said the growing order of fruits we refer to it as feet cutter. Then we have the growing of only flowers. We refer to it as florid cutter. And then we have the word market garden. And this one, we refer to it as the growing of crops only for home use. That, that one is the one that we are talking only for eating, for food. And then we have discussed about the percentage of the world of the hot cutter that we have, we have said we transport or we export flowers at the percentage of 52%. And also we have the vegetables and fruits. We export them with the percentage of 48%. Then also we have said the government is doing a lot of work for them to be able to construct more cooperative and this one, we have talked about hot culture, crop development authority. And this one, we have said HCDA. Then we have talked of the types of crop that are grown in Kenya. We have started with the vegetables. And these ones are the sukuma wiki, cabbage, broccoli, lentils, mushroom, spinach, and we have so many others. Then also, we have already discussed about the fruits. And we have said the fruits are exported to other countries and also they are canned. And we have given a good examples of these fruits. We have said the grapes, plums, oranges, bananas, pears, watermelon, and then we have others. Then we have talked of flowers, the main flowers that we grow here in Kenya. We have talked of roses, carnation, and also the orchids. Then now we go to the contribution of hot culture farming to the economy of Kenya. Which are these contributions? Contribution 
of horticulture farming to the economy of Kenya. We start with the first one. It earns the country foreign exchange. So we have the first one. It earns the country foreign exit. We know after export, whatever the country gets, it gets the foreign exchange. Now we go to number two. Number two, we have horticulture farming farmers earn an income after selling the produce. So when the farmer sell the hot cutter, whatever they get, they get an income. It creates job opportunity in the country. We have the job opportunity, so it creates job. The people who are working at the hot cutter lands or the hot cutter farms. So those people get a job there and so they also earn an income there. So there is creation of job. Then we also have another, it leads to growth for industry. So growth of industry, where the flowers are being grown, the people goes there now that the industry they work in those industries. So the reason we are talking of the growth of industries. Then we have another led to development of infrastructure. So we have, it leads to the development of infra infrastructure. And these ones are like roads. So roads are constructed in those areas. Then we have another one. Then we have provision of social amenities and this one include the schools and also the hospital so we have the uh, the building of schools and also the hospital it has saved the country life and new We have the word, it has saved the country level. Remember this one, now the country is, is exporting. Now they are not importing. So in this importing, they pay the revenue. Now they are not going to pay because they are the ones who are exporting. So those ones are the contribution of hot culture farming to the economy of Kenya. So we have the first one, it earns the country foreign exchange. Then we have it earns farmers income. Then we have the third one, job opportunity. There is creation of job opportunity. We have the growth of industry, led to development of infrastructure. And this one we have given a good example with roads. Then we also have provision of social amenities, like the school and also the hospitals are built. And then we have number seven, it is save the country revenue so now we go direct to problem faced by hot culture farming in kenya
we have the first problem facing hot culture farming in Kenya. So the first one, inadequate capital for expansion. These people want to expand their, uh, their industry, so but they don't have enough capital. We go to the second one, high cost of production. We have the second one, high cost of production, and in this one, they in this, high, when talking about high cost of production, the fertilizers, maybe they are buying with high amount of money, and then those ones are, we refer to them as the inputs. So, in, for them to be able to produce those hot culture crops, they require a lot of money, and the reason we are talking of high cost of production. Then we have pests and diseases. When talking about the pest and diseases, these ones are the ones that invade the hot cutter crops. And in this one, they require, uh, they require the, the we let, let me refer to them as medicine. They require the medicine for, for them to apply to this crop. So we have the infed, the, in, them invading the crop, the pest and also the diseases invading the crop. Then we have stiff competition from other countries. We have stiff competition from other countries. Remember, Kenya is not the only country which is selling the oil the hot culture crops. So what will happen there? Whatever we are going now to see, the country like Europe, it, it is also exporting their hot culture. So we'll have a, a stiff competition. Then we go to the other one, lack of modern technology in farming. So we have number five, lack of modern technology in farming. Then we go to number C, lack of storage facility. Remember these, these things we are saying, they are transported when they are fresh. So the storage should be a good storage. And the reason we are saying lack of storage facility. Then we have the other one, poor means of transport, especially during the rainy season where we, don't, we do not have the roads, good roads, what will happen? The, the crops or the hot catcher crops are going to be delayed to reach to the market. So what, the reason we are talking about the poor means of transport, especially during the rainy season, then we have expensive transport cost to oversee market. Then the other one, we have lack of cooperative, causes disorganization in market. Remember this is the time now the country is trying now to develop the, the, those company or the cooperatives. And what will ha happen if we do not have the, this we are calling the cooperative? They are going now to do it, to disorganize. So everybody will be selling with his or her prices. So the reason we are talking of disorganization in the market. Then also we have middlemen reduces the profit margin of the farmers. When talking about the middlemen, the profit margin of the farmers, this one 
we talk of these middlemen, they want to get their money, so they are not going just to sell the, uh, the crop, and then after selling, they get the what? They have to cut their amount. So whatever is going to reach to the, uh, the farmers, it will be of low amount. So middlemen reduces the profit margin of the farmer. Then now we go to the last one, which is hot culture farming in Netherlands. We have hot kacha farming in Netherlands. Netherlands or Holland is a country in Central Europe. Most of its land is below sea level. So we have the word Netherlands. So another name for Netherlands is Holland. We have Netherlands or Holland. And we have said this one is a country in Central Europe. And most of its land is below the sea level. This is because the land which was previously in the sea was reclaimed. Most of the land is rich, which is consists of alluvial soil. And then we have the scarcity of land in the Netherlands make the few farmers who own arable land to intensively cultivate it. So we, ha we have this one, we are talking about Netherlands. Netherlands, they reclaimed the land. And those people who had the arable land, so those areas which was not swampy, they have to use their land intensively. And then we have farming here is done in small scale, but the return from the small plots are very high, even though they have the small plots. The, the small plots, what happened, the production is very high. And Netherland is located in a densely populated area, pro providing the large needed ma la large market for the produce. So I repeat once again, Netherland, where it is being located, it is located in a densely populated area, providing the large needed market market for the produce. Hot culture farming there is highly specialized whereby a farmer grow one or two on the farm. So here they highly specialize. Whatever they are growing they specialize and they grow either one or two on the farm. Examples of the crops they grow we have the carrots, lettuce, cucumber, apples, tomatoes, sugar beets, we have the, the bulb onions, we have the mushroom, we have the pepper, and also we have the pot potatoes, spinach, and also the grapes. There is a high demand for the produce in Europe. So in, in Europe, the market is there. So we have a ready market for growing, uh, for ready market for the hot culture crop. Hence the farmer grow the crop throughout the year. So they, these people grow their crop throughout the year. The crop are grown in the greenhouses which regulate temperature in winter to make them suitable for the crops. Then we have the farmer suffer from inadequate labor force making farmer to be highly mechanized. The nearness of Netherlands to the rich 
industry nation of Europe make the farmer to earn well from the sale of their crops. So we have, we have already heard about netherite. So we have said netherite, another name for netherite is hollard. And this one, hollard, is in Central Europe. And this one, they reclaimed the yellow. And the scarcity of land in Netherlands make the few farmers which, whom had the allowable land to intensively cultivate the land. Farming here in Netherlands is done in the small scale, but the return from the small plots is very high. Also, we have said Netherlands is located in a densely populated area which has a good large market for the produce. Then we have said hot culture here is highly specialized whereby a farmer grows one of the one or two crops on the farm. Then we plan up, we have an activity that we are going to tackle and the first one the first question will be problem faced by hot culture in Kenya. Name the problem faced by the hot culture farming in Kenya. Lana, I know you have already answered. So we have the first one, we have inadequate capital for the expansion. So we have inadequate capital for the expansion. Then we have number two high cost of production, then we have number three, pests and diseases, then we have number four, steep competition from other countries, then we have number five, lack of modern technology in Kenya. Then we go to the second activity, name the contribution of the hot culture farming in Kenya name the contribution of hot culture farming in Kenya. Rana, I know you have already answered. The first contribution of hot culture farming to the economy of Kenya, we talked about it earns the foreign, the country foreign exchange. Then also we have discussed hot culture farming and earn an income after selling the produce. Then we have number three, it creates job opportunities in the, in the country. Then also we have talked about it has led to growth of industry. Then the last one, we have said it has led to development of infrastructure. Then now our last question, Another name of Netherlands is, I know Lana you have already answered, we have said another name for Netherlands is Holland. And we have said it is found in the central Europe. So in a country called Europe. And that makes the end of our lesson, of our social study lesson, Goodbye till next time.